Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on quadratic inequalities. This is the second video on the topic, so if you've not had a chance to watch the first one, I recommend you watch that first. So here we're going to be looking at graphically solving quadratic inequalities, starting with an example where x squared is less than some other value a squared. So here we've got the inequality x squared minus 2x minus 3 is less than 0. So we're going to solve this inequality first of all by factorising the quadratic. So if you're not confident with factorising quadratics, first of all, we do have a separate video on that as well, so you might want to check that out first. Uh, but here we're looking for two values which multiply to give minus 3 and add together to give minus 2. So these are going to be minus 3 and plus 1. Uh, so this is what's going to be in our brackets alongside x. Then that's going to be less than 0. Now, uh, from this we can sketch the graph. So we know that there's going to be a root at x equals 3 and a root at x equals minus 1. Uh, and then the other thing we can point out is that it's going to cross the y-axis at minus 3. Uh, so the roots are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So this is enough information now to draw the graph. So we can mark the point where it crosses the y-axis and mark the two points where it crosses the x-axis. So it's going to look like this. Or roughly it's going to look like this anyway. I'll do my best to sketch it. So you should end up with a symmetric curve uh, like this one uh, that I've drawn here. So just a quick thing to point out here. What we've drawn is the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. So we've done this in order to make a visual representation of our inequality here in terms of x. Uh, but we're looking for the solutions to this inequality. x squared minus 2x minus 3 is less than 0. So we need to look for the points at which this goes below the x-axis. So y is less than 0 in these cases. So this is the shaded region here. So we need to find what inequality defines this shaded region. And there's a range of values for x that satisfy this inequality. So as you can see, uh, this shaded region falls between x is minus 1 and x is 3. So our solution then is going to be x is between minus 1 and 3. So whenever you get an inequality in the form x squared is less than a squared, you're going to end up with a range of values as your solution. So now let's move on to have a look at an example this time where x squared is greater than some other value of a squared. So here we've got the inequality x squared plus 5x is greater than or equal to minus 4. And again, we're going to attempt to factorise this quadratic, but in order to do that, uh, we need to get all the values on one side and the other side has to be 0. So we're going to get x squared plus 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. And now we can factorise this quadratic. So we're looking for two values here, which multiply to give 4 and add together to give 5. So that's going to be what's inside our brackets alongside x. So that's going to be x plus 4 and x plus 1. So you can do the expansion of these brackets to double check that. Uh, but this is going to be let the greater than or equal to 0. So again, what we're going to do here is draw the graph based on this information. So our quadratic is going to have... Uh, it takes the value of plus 4 on the end, sorry. So that means it crosses the y-axis at plus 4. And now the roots are going to be at x equals minus 4 and x equals minus 1. So these are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. So that's going to be at minus 4 here and minus 1 here. And that's enough information to draw our quadratic. Uh, so again, just try to make sure you draw a symmetric curve that crosses through each of these points. I'm going to redraw that, in fact, uh, just because it takes a strange shape, uh, but it should look something like that. That looks a bit better. Uh, so now we need to find the set of values that satisfy this inequality. So as before, what we've done here to get this visual representation is we've drawn the graph of y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4, uh, but we're looking to this, for the solutions to x squared plus 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So we're looking for the y values which are greater than 0, and these come to the left of x equals minus 4 and to the right of x equals minus 1. So I'm just going to shade these regions in uh, very briefly. I'm not going to do a very good job of it, but you get the point. Uh, so there's going to be two solutions to this inequality. Uh, so that's going to be the two range of values that satisfy uh, this inequality. And that's going to come when x is less than or equal to minus 4 and when x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So these are our two solutions to the inequality. And you're always going to get two solutions rather than a range of values uh, when you have an inequality in the form x squared is greater than x a squared. 
you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, then why not do so with our online exam? This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. If you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.